Hey everybody, I'm Rob Freeman and welcome back to Ensuring the Built Environment. This week we're answering the question, what is virtual net metering? Well, to understand what virtual net metering is, we should first look at the definition or a description of what net metering is. And net metering is a type of state level utility billing policy or an electricity billing mechanism that essentially allows distributed energy, usually renewable energy uh, owners, so a business or a homeowner that has uh, solar or wind or some other type of renewable energy on their property to essentially uh, send that energy that or electricity back to the grid in addition to use energy from the grid. And at the end of the month, they will get a net bill for the electricity that they used or they get a credit for the electricity that they sent to the grid. So an example would be say you are a homeowner with solar on your roof and you uh, use a thousand kilowatt hours of electricity and you send 400 kilowatt hours of electricity from your solar system to the utility or to the grid then you're gonna end up with a bill of 600 kilowatt hours. So 1,000 kilowatt hours used, 400 kilowatt hours sent back to the grid, and so that gives you a net bill of 600 kilowatt hours. And so it's a nice thing because it allows the uh, homeowners or the business owners that have solar on site to use the solar when it's, when it's, when it's available to them, when they need it, and then also if, say, they are producing more energy or electricity than they can actually use, it goes back to the grid and a net metering, any net metering system requires what, what they call a bi-directional meter. So it means that, you know, the meter can use energy from the grid or can send energy back to the grid. So it's bi-directional. And uh, so that's what net metering is. It's a billing mechanism for electricity, for on-site renewable energy that allows people to use energy from their own system as well as from the grid and send excess energy back to the grid and get a net bill for that energy that they used or get a credit if they used more than they, would, than they have um, consumed. So what is virtual net metering? Well, virtual net metering is a concept in community solar, which is usually a utility scale solar system, usually a ground mount system, but it could also be a large roof mount system or a combination of those two, that is uh, off-site somewhere that allows uh, individuals, homeowners, business owners, uh, residents in an apartment building, basically anybody who couldn't otherwise get a solar system installed on their home, or maybe they are living in an apartment building and they just don't have you know, the ability to put solar panels on their apartment building's roof. But if they live in a state, and there's over 30 states in the U.S. right now that allow some form of uh, virtual net metering or net metering, uh, it allows them to subscribe to an off-site renewable energy solar system and they can have a portion of the renewable energy that's generated, the electricity from that system, and then they get a credit on their utility bill for the electricity that is produced by that solar system. It also, it could be wind, but usually it's solar, community solar. So virtual net metering is similar to net metering, except that people who couldn't otherwise get solar because uh, they're either their house is the wrong orientation, they have the wrong roof orientation, or they just have too much tree cover, or they just can't afford a solar system, but they live in a state that allows community solar uh, subscriptions, they can subscribe to a community solar system and they can participate in virtual net metering and then they get a credit on their bill for the electricity that they used from the solar system and, uh, and that's what virtual net metering is. So again, uh, net metering and virtual net metering are based on the same concept but net metering is for on-site renewable energy that you control and then virtual net metering is for off-site renewable energy that you just participate in. You subscribe to a community solar system and you can participate in a virtual net metering program and benefit from renewable energy and use renewable energy that's not, uh, you know, use less fossil fuel energy. So uh, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, I hope this is interesting and helpful. If you have questions about 
a utility scale solar project that you're building and you're trying to get insurance for it, you can schedule an appointment with me, the link below this video. Uh, thanks again and uh, hope this has been helpful and have a great day.